Hello, everybody. Welcome to our boss guide for The Pursuer in Dark Souls 2. I'm Ryan ah. Telgenick with GamesRadar.com. And I'm Lorenzo Valoria. And this guy was a pain in the <laughs> ass. Oh, boy, was he. Now, I think he's probably one of the tougher fights you're going to fight, or er, tougher bosses you're going to encounter in the first probably third of the game. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Mainly because. You know, well, I guess it depends on how, uh, the tactics you've been uh, relying on for boss fights, mostly up until him. As somebody who typically just uses the standard circle strafing tactic for boss fights, you're going to have a tough time in this because he forces you to adapt into a new style. Yeah. So uh, you can't really circle strafe him because all of his attacks have a way of hitting you when you're too close. Yeah, so what you're doing right now, you're, you you kind of started off with the circle strafing, but now you're kind of just backing away from his attacks, and that's what you want to do. Yeah. If you stay close, he's got this combo attack that's usually a three pronged yeah. attack where he, he hits you with your, his sword knocks away a lot of your uh, your stamina right and then oh he yeah did the one and yeah. then he hits you with your shield and then he tries to you know finish you off with this massive haymaker he thing. does <laughs> right here it is this yeah. whole combo that is the deadliest thing you're gonna have to watch out yeah. for because if that first attack hits it's gonna hurt if the shield hits and you're blocking there goes all of your stamina yep. and that third attack will basically one shot me here uh, it really really hurts badly so that's kind of why you don't want to circle strafe because those t attacks he is so agile at just turning and hitting right that if you uh try and get behind him he's able to very quickly counter that and uh, this oh, and then yeah that one is a killer that uh <laughs> that actually impales you and he picks you up and curses you yeah uh if he if he lands that attack Do you so know what the curse does i know like in uh dark souls uh getting cursed was bad news because that would permanently reduce your help until you uh, until you reversed it but I'm not sure what his curse does yeah I'm not exactly sure either uh, I got cursed one time and it didn't seem to have any lasting effects like it did in Dark Souls it might like temporarily slow you down or something I yeah. can't really recall so in any case avoid that yeah. now the, the get, when his sword glows blue that means he's gonna do his curse attack and it's always just a straightforward thrust right it's pretty easy to dodge and it has a long enough uh, lead time to where you can really tell it's coming pretty mm -hmm. quickly. Um, but yeah, I think the key to this fight, as Lorenzo mentioned, is focusing on just backing up and perfect roll dodging his strikes. Because if you can get the timing on all those down, that was the only way I was really able to beat him. I try This guy probably took me the most attempts to face. And uh, right now we're fighting him uh, in, in his normal boss stage, I, I think that most people will fight him at. <laughs> but uh, you can also encounter him earlier in the game, You're which right, is... Yeah insane because he just comes out of nowhere jumps well, out off of bird and then attacks yeah, you. Yeah, because you're in the uh, god, what is it? The, the forest the, of the giants or the, whatever it's called? Yeah, he, you're in the fortress there with all the undead and there's like this open platform there and if you step on there he'll come down and attack you and you could fight him uh, <laughs> there. But Did he do those same attacks? Because I only, I, I was just like blown away. I looked at him he came and he killed me. So <laughs> Exactly, yeah, because yeah, I was just like, oh look, there's a giant bird. Oh, what the hell? It's carrying a big <laughs> man and then it dropped down and sliced my face off yeah. I was like, well and well the thing is you only get that one shot at him when he's dropped that way right if he kills you and you go back to your bonfire he will not return so yeah, I wonder though and I'm sure this is the case and probably people in the comments will know the answer to this mm -hmm. since we played this before any online information was available um, I wonder what if there are any extra rewards for taking him out when you first encounter him, yeah. If you if you happen to climb that ladder onto that rooftop and then he gets dropped there, yeah. We don't have the benefit of the wikis right now, so uh, we we <laughs> haven't gone to that blind. point. Yeah. Um, but again, that three hit combo and especially that last attack has a bit of a delay compared to the first two attacks of that combo, and so learning the timing of that one is probably only something you'll do from dying to it many times over. Mm -hmm. uh, but once you really get that uh, settled down and kind of locked into place and you're able to quickly dodge these. The other thing too is when he's doing his full three attack combo, it's tough to roll dodge all of those attacks because that is such a stamina drain yep. that you won't really have anything left to hit him. Uh, and I, I don't know about you, Lorenzo, but I was very hesitant to ever hit him more than once uh, right. when I would go in for my strikes because I knew I needed that stamina to roll dodge. He's he's really one of the faster uh, bosses, so y you really need to watch your stamina. Uh, if you're, uh, you, well, we're doing melee, uh, a melee character right here, but if you're a ranged character, I'm pretty sure you could just, uh, you know, back up because this is pretty uh, a, yeah. a long arena so um you, you could back up probably wait for his combos to finish off and then uh 
you know, kite him a little bit. And also just be sure to keep him in the middle because you don't want to accidentally roll off the edge, which you can <laughs> right. do, and I had done many times. So <laughs> keep that in mind too. But yeah, with enough patience and some good roll dodge practice, the Pursuer will fall just as any other Dark Souls boss will. And that will cover our video for the Pursuer boss fight in Dark Souls 2. Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to check out more of uh, the Dark Souls 2 boss fights. And also check us out at gamesradar.com.